good morning dear students our topic is indifference curves utility analysis as we human beings we have so many wants these wants are satisfied with the goods and services by consuming the goods and services is called consumption consumption gives utility or utility to get by consumption or consuming goods and services utility satisfaction or pleasure derived from consuming goods and services types of utility analysis in the utility analysis there are two types first one is cardinal utility analysis this analysis is based on the assumption utility can be measured 1 2 3 etc these 1 2 3 are cardinal called cardinal numbers this analysis was developed by alfred marshall second analysis is ordinal utility analysis this analysis is based on the assumption utility cannot be measured can be compared first second third fourth etc these first second third fourth are ordinal numbers this analysis was developed by jr hicks and rjd allen ordinary ordinal utility analysis is <coughs> done through indifference curves analysis indifference curves analysis was first introduced by edgeworth in 1881 the indifference curves analysis was popularized by pareto and slutsky then it was developed by rjd allen and jr hicks jr hicks famous book is value and capital assumptions of ordinal utility analysis the important assumptions of ordinal utility analysis is utility can cannot be measured it can be compared as first second third fourth etc consumer is rational consumer has preferences on combination of goods consumer has a preference scale consumer's income is constant the rate of substitution the marginal rate of substitution is diminishing Con- consistency and transitivity no change in other goods prices indifference curves as human beings we have some or many wants these wants are these wants are fulfilled with goods and services every consumer has scale of preference in consume consumption of consuming goods and services the combination of in this scale of preference some uh, consumer have some combination of goods some combinations of goods have giving higher satisfaction some combinations give lower satisfaction but in the indifference curves analysis we take same satisfaction giving combinations of goods at the same satisfaction giving combinations the consumer is indifference on the same satisfaction giving consumers uh, combinations so 
Indifference curves analysis is based on same satisfaction giving combinations of goods. Indifference should. First, we try to understand the indifference curves analysis. We understand the indifference schedule. The schedule shows various combinations of goods which gives same satisfaction to the consumer is called indifference schedule. In this schedule, combinations A, B, C, D, E and F. In the combination A, X good is 1 plus Y goods are 20. In the combination B, there are 2 X goods plus 15 Y goods. In the combination C, there are 3 X goods and sorry, plus 11 Y goods. Like so. The combinations a, B, C, D, uh, E and F gives same satisfaction to the consumer. So, consumer did not uh, show any, differ, any difference between them. So, these combinations are indifference. These combinations are called indifference combinations. indifference curves. The curve derives by joining points shows various combinations of goods and goods and services which gives the same satisfaction to consumer is called indifference curve. X good shows shown on X axis y good shown on y axis in the combination a x good is 1 plus 20 y goods in the combination b x goods 2 plus y goods 15 so on a b c d e f combination. These same satisfaction giving combination goods the points joining we can derive the indifference curve. In this curve IC1 is in this diagram IC1 is indifference curve. Marginal rate of substitution. The rate a consumer is willing to substitute, substitute one good for another is called marginal rate of substitution. We observe the when we observe the table combinations A, B, C, D, E, and F when the X good increases, the Y good decreases. Consumer substitute for X good to Y good. The rate of substitution is gradually diminishing. At the additional x to gain additional x in the combination b consumer is willing to give up 5 y goods in the combination b consumer is willing to give up only 4 Next three, another next two, 
and next is 1. So, the marginal rate of substitution is diminishing. The marginal rate of substitution is diminishing. The indifference curve is convex to the point of origin. The rate of mar the rate of marginal substitution is diminishing. A, B, C, T and F points it is gradually diminishing indifference map various indifference curves representing various level of satisfaction in the indifference map different indifference curves are rep represented are shown in this indifference map x good shows shown on x axis y good shown on y axis ic1 ic2 ic3 and IC4 are indifference curves. An indifference curve shifts to the right, the level of satisfaction goes increasing. In this diagram, IC4 is, IC4 represents the combination yielding maximum satisfaction. In the IC1, on the IC1, A, B, C combinations. On the IC2, D and E combinations. On the D, D and E combinations on IC2 is are giving more satisfaction than A, B, C combinations on IC1. F combination on IC2, IC3 gives more satisfaction to the consumer than D, E combinations on IC2 and Combination G on IC4 gives more satis most satisfaction to the consumer. All the other combinations on other indifference curves. Thank you. Wish you all the best.